quadroons, as we call them. They are products of the Creole man and his darker woman. Oh, I thought such marriages were against the law. Oh, you, you are correct. But let me be blunt with you. A quadroon woman, she has but one goal in life, and that is to be the mistress of her Creole. The Quadroon Bowl was a small social event designed to encourage mixed race women to form unions with wealthy white men through a system of concubines known as placage. It took place in New Orleans, Louisiana. This particular event can be traced back to the French colony of Saint Dominique. The French would carry the tradition of prostitution for women of color. The mulatto courtesans, or women of color, would meet their clients in the ball set up as a mistress and often profit from the union if the client dies or leave the country. Unfortunately, the women of color were entertainment for wealthy white men and was never to be married. The women were sophisticated and highly educated, but these circumstances made it difficult to find a Negro man of their status. People of color dates back as far as 1796 referred to as light-skinned people of mixed African and European heritage. French colonists used the term Gen Z Kalua, referring to people of mixed African and European descent who were free from slavery in America. Children who were born of the first generation of Plaquelage were called mulattoes. The second generation are called quadrons, the octoroons, and so on. This process would rid the Negro blood to create what we call a Creole of color, speaking French, French names, and would create their own customs. During the first half of the 19th century, the quadroons were displayed in these balls which took place on the streets as Saint Philippe. At the ballroom named South Saint Philippe Street, it was connected to the old Orleans Theater and Opera House. Quadroon mistress had their quadroon friends and amusements, and of course, the quadroon balls, but they could not mix with white women, and they could not sit with them, nor could they ride carriages in the streets. Quadroon men were never allowed in either of these events. And my daughter, Carl. The mother would negotiate with an admirer and later be compensated including financial payment, housing arrangements, and paternal recognition of any children. Once the white man decided to get married to a European woman, he would just simply break off the arrangement. In a nutshell, the women of color attended these dances hoping to form a placage relationship with, the, with eligible white men. In 1817, John David built the Orleans Ballroom, the oldest, most historical ballroom in New Orleans. Both the whites and the Negroes call us mules. Neither race, n'est-ce pas? In the Crisis Magazine, created by W.E.B. Du Bois, the quadroon is mentioned, and even a song was written about the event. As you can see, historically, the Quadrant Ball was established by wealthy white men who lusted for the black flesh, but with European features, until eventually he would marry a European woman for permanent family values and children they would claim of their own. 